Hello, not so glorious, normally raging, out of control, heavy current canal river thing. How the hell are you today? <laughs> good, good, good. I'm glad you're doing good. Boo and I are still on our way home from our honeymoon thing. These videos are probably going to be split up a little bit, but I couldn't go home without coming to my favorite canal. The canal is down about whatever that equals. We uh, never really have rocks to stand on, and most of this is normally water. So uh, yeah, not really sure what to expect, but we don't see any dead fish, so there should be some live fish and stuff and things, but yeah. What is going on, you dirty old stash bags? It is still me and it is still Boo and we are still honeymooning and Boo stole my lure. I'm gonna be throwing, slash Boo's gonna be throwing the Whopper Plopper I just tied on to try to catch some uh, smallmouth on top water out of this canal. I've always caught them on jigs. I also have a jig tied on. And um, yeah, we're just gonna see what's happening. But there was a snake on the other side that got blown up on by a smallmouth, which was pretty intense. So I'm assuming that they'll probably eat a little baby Whopper Plopper as well. Not really sure, but we have a lot of canal to fish. This is just always the spot we start. There's like a weird little cattle bridge thing that sometimes has water coming out of it. Obviously it doesn't now, I'm not really sure. We haven't got rain for a while, maybe that's it, but they also kind of shut these things off and on pretty much at will. So apparently they have it off right now, but <clears throat> yeah, there's still hypothetically should be fish. So come along with Boo and I, let's uh, see if we can catch some smallmouth or some walleye or some white bass or some wipers and stuff. Can't believe you stole my plopper right away. No, you're good, you throw it. I wanna see the childish joy you get out of something blowing up on that. I also might throw that, uh, whatever the six cent swim bait's called, the trace or something. That could be good. I'm gonna cast over you because you stole my pole. I just got murdered. Do you still have it? He tried to have it. First cast, got smoked. Should be hypothetically about the same number of fish with less water. So we should be able to catch some. We also have night crawlers and minnows if we need them, but we'll stick with lures for now. <clears throat> Got one. That thing smoked it. Oh my gosh, that's a big one for here. Hey, maybe we'll catch bigger ones now that the water's down. <laughs> Cause that's not a chitty one hell yeah my buds i missed you i missed you job, boo. thanks boo i really want one to eat that plopper that's the main goal well bud's kind of skinny in his back region but his his belly's looking pretty nice so he's must have some food Cool little red-eyed smallmouth bud just soaked my shoes like a jerk. But I ain't even mad. All right, 0.1 for the jig, 0 0.0 for the plopper, but I think if we try hard enough and long enough that we can find a dumb one. Like I said, one tried to eat a snake, so. <clears throat> I just took that one under your plopper. <laughs> There's just something about, you're good. There's just something about crawfish for these canal smallmouth. Is this one bigger? They're just so mad all the time. What are you guys so upset about all the time? Can't you just be happy? Guess not. Pretty one. Good little 13 inch or something. Nothing crazy. Here, trade me. I don't know what you're doing with that pole, but I don't like it. <laughs> that thing was bendied. All right, you throw the jig for a bit. <clears throat> Be sure to give him the bones. Hey, check that line though. See if it's frayed after the next cast or whatever. Plopper time. Where'd our clouds go? We had a little bit of clouds that I thought would make the plopper better. We still got some, but not as many as we did. Did you get bumpered? They're like fighting it over it down there. They're seriously like fighting over it. Did one just blow up on it? Yeah. I wasn't even paying attention. Totally missed it. Got him. Got him. That might have been the same fish. Mini pl 
Now, when the water's up, the, it's just flowing so hard that top, I've tried top water and it just hasn't worked. So this might be one of the only times to uh, catch them out of this on top water effectively. That one sure liked it. <laughs> Bounce went in. A little tight, but first fish I've ever caught on this mini sized plopper. I've also never tried. He's also hooked in a funny way. Let's get him unhooked, then I'll yap some more. He just farted. That was him. Mm hmm. Don't. <laughs> you got one? Yeah. Nice. I got butt unhooked. <gasps> That's a pretty dark one, fam. That is cool. For a yeah, it kind of looked different, didn't it? This has been a pretty eventful seven minutes. Okay. All right, you have fun with your camera. I'm going to catch another on the plopper. Love you. All right, love you. Good one, fam. Good one. All right, I've figured out over the years that uh, jigs for these fish is key, but figured might as well try something new, and it worked in a few casts, so can't argue with that. Can't argue with that. I have a bait caster with 50 pound braid, but I figured I'd just throw it on the spinning rod because it'd be more fun and easier to cast. And this is 20 pound braid, so yeah. We should have enough meat on these bones. That should be a fish. Oh, he hit it right when it hit the water. Anyway, let's keep catching. Still got a little bit of flow, but not much. <laughs> Getting them, boo. Getting them. You have fun. Oh, one just swiped at it and missed it. Oh, shit. I don't know if that was a smallmouth. I wasn't paying attention, but something just, something bigger just hit this. This is intense. We pulled up and thought this would suck, but it's kind of fun fishing it when the water's low. Kind of fun. Oh, my God. Oh my god, that was intense. That was intense. That was intense. Goodness gracious. That, that will about stop your heart. <laughs> I about just had a stroke. <laughs> I was looking at you or I wasn't paying attention. He just, he just kerplunked her. That was just nutty. Absolutely nutty. All right, Jerry. <clears throat> That's about enough of that. Cool. Figured the little plop would work. I mean, I'm talking about wasn't coming off. Here, get the pliers quick. They about steal it out of your hands, don't they? <laughs> Intense. <clears throat> all right another good little little fat bud they're not real long but they did just drain this canal a uh, year ago i think or something so these are all kind of fresh implants but they clearly have the aggression in a lot of food so as long as they don't drain it again i'd expect in the next couple years there'll be some damn tanks but for now these ones are still fun let's cast over boo and see if we can get another one they're over there too are they mm -hmm. I just don't really want to throw the plopper down that way because then I'll be going against the current. But I guess there's not that much current, so it might be worth a shot. I'll chuck a couple down there. All right, we'll keep her going. <laughs> oh my God! You. Did you see that? That was the most incredible thing I've ever seen. That was that was, yeah. that was a freaking curb plow, is what that was. No. Not the plop. I'm gonna have to go get that. That sounds like it just like went straight into the rocks. Hmm. I guess all you gotta do is throw it that way. Yeah. All right. Hang tight. I gotta go rescue plop bud without dying somehow. Yeah, plop bud just nestled in some rocks. All right, back in business. Try from this side. That was a task to get over here. I better catch one. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hmm. 
About rip it out of your hands? Oh, yeah. Hell yeah, Boo. All Boo needed was the jig. Now she's wrecking them. Still sticking with the plopper. Until I'm not. <laughs> All of two. Holy shit. Yep. This one feels pretty decent. It's a spinning rod, but... Hell yeah, fam. The old dried up canal is a good time. Mine's kind of decent too. Did you hear him eat it though? I love nothing more than ripping canal small jaws on a jig, but he, the, the, the audio there is incredible. He just puked up a bunch of crawdad stuff. Yep, a bunch of exoskeleton. I think the rest of, yep, the rest of the crawdads in his mouth, which isn't surprising for people who have watched my videos from here before, because it happened last time too. But let me show you this, if I can get him unhooked without me getting hooked. I don't feel like I have a very good grip on him. All right, got her undone, but look at that big old claw in there. <laughs> Pulled the claw out. Can you see it from there? It's pretty big. Crawdad eater. I certainly am not matching the hatch, but uh, old Baberto is with the jig, and she's crushing them, and I'm getting one or two in between on the old plot bud. That was aggressive. Not much of a bass fisherman. Not very good at it. Don't really like doing it that much, but canal smallmouth in general, but now topwater canal smallmouth. It's a rush and stuff. Clean you off too, and get back to it. I don't know what size whopper bobber this is, but I think most of the time I use the 110, the big black dong, but I don't know why I just felt like buying one of these and bringing it on the trip, but it's coming in handy now. Not to say that I couldn't catch them on a popper or a spook or something like that, but smallmouth, they, they hate ploppers. They cannot stand them in a good way. So we'll keep her going. We're gonna go try to find some walleyes eventually, maybe some white bass and wipers, but for now we are doing this. This side is a shitload sketchier to walk on. I'm also surprised I haven't found any of my jigs. I've lost a lot of jigs on this side of the canal. <laughs> Another factor is there can only be so many smallmouth in this little puddle. <laughs> There's a surprising amount though. Yeah, they are angry, aren't they? <gasps> That one moved some water. I doubt it was any bigger, but it sure as shit looked like it. I wasn't even paying attention. I was trying to figure out which rock to walk on next. And that dude just completely whiffed it. Yeah, I was stuck on that rock, so I was hoping I didn't there for a second, but that was probably one of the more intense bites. I only get a bite about once every 25 casts, but when I do, it sure is something to watch. <laughs> There's a lot of wipers in this canal too. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Is that a wiper? <laughs> I was getting ready to say there's wipers in this canal that we're gonna have to try to go find here in a GIF, but that dude just raw dogged it. Did you just raw dog that one? Yep. yep. <laughs> oh goodness. Thinking the wipers are gonna be up towards where the, the water's coming in. Did yours come off? Mine, mine like wrapped himself up. Mine came off too, but I'm almost glad because they've been getting too many hooks in them with this damn plopper that I'm worried that I'm going to get hooked too. All right, well, thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Stuff. Nah, we're still, we're still fishing. <laughs> if we were slackers, we could probably just quit now and just go home. I mean, that's, that's a good enough video for, for most people, but let's catch about twice as many. <laughs> there's just so many come on let it be a carp just something different come on common carp buffalo <laughs> give us a shad for god's sakes now dirty old trash fish smallmouth gross <laughs>
That was intense. Little baby one. Little baby one wanted it. Alrighty. What is that, number five on the plopper or something? Yeah. Little tyke. It ain't working nearly as good as the jig, but it is working. I might throw it some more eventually, but I'm gonna climb back out, get to the truck, and uh, I think we're moving on, but that should about be a wrap for the plopper canal smallmouth and jig smallmouth for Boo and me. And um, yeah, we're gonna keep fishing, keep traveling. Almost home, not quite yet though. But if you like this video, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe. I've always wanted to catch the uh, smallmouth out of here on top water, and while well, it sucks to see the canal so low, I mean, there's benefits too. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See you later and stuff. Thanks for bye bye.